everyone, I thought it would be fun to hop on here and share with you our homeschool curriculum favorites for this current homeschool year. So this is the 2023-2024 homeschool year. I cannot believe we're already in 2024, but we are. Um, I have seven kids, two of which I have already graduated, but I have five still at home, and I asked each of them what their favorite homeschool curriculum was. And um, so I'm gonna share that with you, but I also am gonna share what my favorite curriculum or course was for each of my kids as well. And as you can probably guess, their favorites for themselves were more based on their interests and you know uh, abilities and, and just things that they enjoy. And my favorites for them, well, they were more based on what um, courses I thought really challenged them or grew them or matured them um, this year. So um, let me tell you the grades of my kids. I have two that are in high school, so a ninth grader and an 11th grader. I have one in middle school, which is, uh, she's in seventh grade, and then two in elementary school, so a second grader and a fourth grader. So we'll jump in and start with my youngest and then work our way up to high school. All right, we are gonna start with my second grader. I got them all written down here in my notes so I don't forget what all my kids' favorites were. But my second grader's favorite course this year was Heritage Studies, and that's from BJU Press. And we do their video lessons, so he gets um, online into the homeschool hub that they have and um, does the course through there. He watches some instruction um, from another teacher online, and then he has a textbook and a workbook that he works through. He said he loves the course. He said it's really interesting. He loves that the videos are shorter, which of course, second grade boy, enjoys the shorter lessons. And he also really appreciates that the teacher reads the textbook to him. So instead of him having to read the textbook himself or having to ask me to read it for him, um, in Heritage Studies 2 from BJU Press, um, the video lessons, the teacher reads the textbook to him, reads the assignment to him. So he really enjoys that. He's getting a lot out of it. Um, he's just loving that history course. So when it comes to what my favorite was for him, that was um, the BJU Press English 2 um, video lessons. And I did a review and a whole video on uh, BJU Press English 2, so I will try to link that down below in the description. But I just loved that course for him this year. It was a very gentle introduction to grammar and writing. And so um, I just felt like it was just, a, like I said, a good introduction and he enjoyed it and it's just a great, it's a great curriculum. So that was my favorite for him. Now, my fourth grader had a hard time picking his favorite and that's because he really has two favorites. So we're just gonna let him let him pick two. And that was the BJU Press Heritage Studies course for fourth grade and the BJU Press a science course for fourth grade. Again, my kids really enjoy the BJU Press video lessons. And I think part of the reason for that is that um, it is another person that is um, teaching them and instructing them besides hearing you know, my voice all day long, but also it's teachers who love love history, love science, and are teaching it with enthusiasm, which I have to be honest, sometimes I lack because every subject is not my favorite subject. And so it's great that my kids can get some instruction from teachers who love the subjects that they're teaching about and are excited about it. So he loved the BJU Press, Heritage Studies for and Science for. My favorite for, uh, for my fourth grader was um, the BJU Press reading curriculum and even though he's in fourth grade he is doing reading three that just fit where he's at a little bit better and i'm really loving that course for him again it just covers uh reading comprehension and how to comprehend what he's reading um and also just different aspects of literature. And I did a review of that as well, so I will link that down in the description so I don't have to go into all that, but that was my favorite for him. 
All right, we're moving on to middle school and this is my seventh grader. And I was actually very surprised when my seventh grader told me what her favorite course was this year. And it's actually the BJU Press life science course. And again, we're doing it with video lessons. And she she said she just loves it. She enjoys the video instruction. She enjoys the textbook. She's learning a lot. So I didn't think that that would be her favorite because science isn't necessarily her favorite topic. Um, but she's loved, that's her favorite course. So um, I, again, love that there are instructors and teachers who are teaching her something that they love that might not be a topic and subject that I, you know, absolutely love. So she was, she enjoyed the BJU Press um, Life Science. My favorite course for her was actually the BJU Press um, Bible course for seventh grade. I think it's, um, I think it was for seventh grade. She's taken it in seventh grade, but it's the story of the Old Testament. And it's a newer Bible course that BJU Press has put out. And I am just loving the this new Bible course. Um, it is not only teaching her the Old Testament, but teaching her how to study the Bible, interpret scripture, um, accurately understanding what scripture is saying in context. I mean, just so much in there. I, I really should do just a full review on it, but that is my favorite course for her. I feel like she's just growing a lot in her knowledge of God's word and how to study the Bible through that course. So that is um, the Bible course on the Old Testament. I believe it's supposed to be for seventh grade, but I could be wrong on the actual grade level. Um, but that's my favorite course for her. Now we're jumping into high school and we'll start with my ninth grader. My ninth grader's favorite curriculum this year, which was not a surprise to me at all, was his um, Exploring World Geography course from Knotgrass History. He has really enjoyed the Knotgrass History curriculum over the years and he's definitely enjoying and learning a lot from the geography course that he is taking from Knotgrass. So that is a favorite for him. My favorite for him is actually a curriculum from Master Books, and it is their Introduction to Logic course. And I have done a review of this course as well. This is the third child that I have taken through this course, and I also taught it in a co-op setting. So I really love this Introduction to Logic course for Master Books. It's um, a great introduction to thinking logically and critically and being able to spot the fallacies um, in someone's argument uh, when you are having a discussion with them and being able to point out that argument in a loving, Christ-honoring way and um, then defend your, um, your belief or your stance. So um, that is my favorite for him. It's been a great course and I just love seeing my kids grow in um, their critical thinking and apologetics. And yeah, so introduction to logic. Last but not least is my 11th grader. And I don't think I even had to ask what her favorite course was, but I did and I guessed right. It is an art course that she is taking from Master Books Academy. So this is not um, a textbook. There's no textbook for this course. So you're not gonna find it on the Master Books website. It's actually in their Master Books Academy of video courses. It is an art class for high schoolers. She is absolutely loving it. And to be honest, I, I was a little skeptical about the course, but it was so affordable that I thought we'll just give it a try and I was pleasantly surprised. This is an excellent uh, basic introduction to art course. My daughter loves art, she's good at art, but she's learning a lot and being challenged maybe in areas that maybe she wouldn't um, have pursued in terms of different mediums of art and things like that. So it's a great course and sh she's absolutely loving it. My favorite course for my 11th grader is actually the Bible uh, course that I put together for her this year. And so uh, what that consisted of was her reading uh, Fundamentals of the Faith. 
and it is a workbook that just works through some of the very fundamental doctrines of the Christian faith. And then I had her read four different books. And one of them was Changed Into His Image by Jim Berg, which is excellent. It is a great book for adults to read. It is going to change uh, your walk with the Lord. It is encouraging and convicting all at the same time with some very, very practical um, tips and helps for how to walk um, a life worthy of the Lord and, and how to walk faithfully in, in the Lord. So that is a great book and that's just a book I wanted um, my teens to read before they left our home. So it changed into his image. I also had her read Women of the Word by Jen Wilkin. Um, that's just a great uh, introduction to how to study the Bible for yourself. Um, I also had her read When Words Matter Most. And this is another excellent book that I encourage all women to read. If you want to know how to speak truth into your children's life, your husband's life, your friend's life, co-workers, people at church, you want to encourage them, but you want that encouragement to come from scripture and the truth of God's word, when words matter most is a must read. It's very encouraging, very practical. Um, just, it's a great read. And I had the authors of that book on my podcast and they talked about how we can use our words to encourage our kids, especially as homeschool moms. So I'll leave a link to that episode down below uh, if you wanna check that out. And then finally, um, for the fourth book that I was gonna have my daughter read for this kind of Bible course that I put together for her, I just asked her to read a biography, a Christian biography of her choice. She actually picked um, Anne Judson, a missionary from Burma, and um, really enjoyed that book. And actually, I was just so pleased with how this um, Bible course came together that I'm actually gonna have my son, who will be moving into uh, 10th grade next year, I'm gonna be having him do the same thing next year. He'll be working through Fundamentals of the Faith, and then I will be picking um, four books um, for him, probably not the same ones, especially because two of them are written for women and he is not a woman, he's a young man. So I will pick at least two different books there. I'll probably have him read Changed Into His Image and have him pick a Christian biography as well. But um, I've just really been happy with um, this Bible course and just the way that it has changed and grown um, my 11th grader this year. And this is actually uh, the Fundamentals of the Faith workbook is something that I had um, another daughter who is already out of the house work through as well. And um, I've gone through it several times with other ladies. It's just a great foundational uh, workbook to work through. So those are our favorites for this current school year. Um, I'd love to hear what your favorites are. What are you enjoying teaching your kids? What are you enjoying um, that maybe they're able to do independently? What are your kids enjoying? It's always fun to hear from all of you, uh, from different homeschool families. And sometimes I see a new curriculum that I've never heard of and I can go check it out and find out it's a great fit for my family. So. Share down below what your favorite curriculum is this current homeschool year. All right, I think that wraps it up. I don't think I have anything else to say, but thank you for watching. And it, again, is so good to be back here on YouTube with all of you.